love on Loco Fawcett and welcome to an unboxing and review of a pair of Hornby's newest uh, KFA releases, uh, both of which uh, are carrying tank tainers. Uh, we have a, a, a low amount of these in stock as they sold out as I had these sent to me, uh, but there'll be a link in the description below for the one that does have some stock left and we are looking into getting more of them. Um, so yeah. Let's uh, just get started. Uh, as always, you know, we've got your standard Hornby packaging um, for your wagons. Uh, so, see through on the front, and just the red and the white. And then from this end, you've got the uh, the code, then the KFA, and then the uh, tip hook uh, number as well. And as always, you just pull it out, it's in a plastic sleeve. And then you've got your uh, detail pack here with some spare couplings uh, for close coupling. So that's quite a cool feature that they come with that. And taking out the box, uh, again, it's a sta standard Hornby sleeve, you just pop it out one side, lift it up. Uh, you've got your plastic protection and you can just lift the wagon out. Okay, so what's good about uh, this model is Although it's quite flat, you know, you might think, oh, it's not much weight to it, but it's actually completely die cast. Uh, so this is great, obviously, for running, uh, as it adds more weight to the train. Um, so it just runs a lot smoother and won't derail over points and that sort of thing. But if we just start on this end, um, we have sprung buffers. We've got a number of decals uh, on this corner here. Uh, moving along, got more decals here uh, with the max curve. Uh, we've got some bogies, they're not super detailed, um, but they do have the axle boxes picked out in a different colour, as well as some white lining on the top there as well. Moving along further, we have one of the brake wheels, uh, the handbrake, uh, along with the uh, on and off decal there, and then the handbrake decal. Uh, the camera's not picking it up particularly well, so I do apologise for that. Uh, moving along, we've got uh, the big database panel uh, with the KFA, so you know which type of wagon it is there. Uh, and then the weight and some other, I think that's a tip hook rail code there. Moving along further, uh, we've got some separately fitted, well, a separately fitted part here. Uh, I'm not sure what that is though. Uh, there's a number of molded details on the bottom here. Uh, you can see there's some pipe work and some cylinders. Uh, I'm assuming that's, you know, all to do with the braking system. Moving along again, we've got some more uh, decals, uh, not to be loose shunted. Uh, and then there's another data panel here. Uh, it's all completely legible, um, but my camera has decided that it doesn't want to focus today. Oh no, there we go. Um, okay, moving on further, we've got the uh, yellow two ax logo, uh, which is the wagon leasing company. Uh, I think it's French, I, I believe, uh, but I could be wrong there. Uh, we've got the other bogey here, and then some more molded details on this side, as well as an electrification warning sticker. And again, we've got sprung buffers here. Now on the top, uh, you can see every so often there are these uh, pointy up bits and these are how you attach the containers onto the model or the tank containers even. Um, so they just, they have holes in the bottom uh, which you then just fit on top like so. Uh, it does seem a little bit loose but obviously when it's running around you know that's, that's not going to fall off. Okay, so taking a look at the tank tains now, you can see that they are basically big metal sort of scaffolding uh, with a tank inside. Obviously, they need to be square to fit on container ships and such with other containers, hence the name tank tainer. Uh, but you can see all of them have uh, sort of, I wouldn't say rivets. They've, they've got molded detail uh, around, uh, but in these bottom two, it's been picked out in silver. Um, but there is no detailed differences between them. They're, they're all just they're all the same molding. Uh, they've all got a ladder down one side, and they've all got the same. They've all got the same shape, obviously, uh, and they all have holes in the bottom uh, to allow you to fit them to the container wagon. Um, as for the liveries, there is obviously a lot of variation here, but you can see there's a lot of uh, printed decal work with all the different codes. Uh, all, all, yeah, all, all the different codes, all the different numbers, the warning symbols, that sort of thing. 
and then there's obviously the different logos uh, for the different companies. Now, I don't know if these are real companies or ones that Hornby have made up, uh, but as it's a main range product, uh, I would like to think that they are real. On the top as well, uh, we've got some walkways and then some sort of opening hatches, uh, presumably to allow it to be uh, filled up. On the end, uh, we also have a number of more uh, decals or printed details, sorry, uh, with more logos, more warning symbols, and a lot more numbers. Taking a look at the containers on the other model, um, we've got a completely brown one here with the Sutton's logo. Again, it's got all the detail there and some other logos. Looks like a snake there for some reason. Uh, we've got a Stolt tank tainers container, and then we've got a Euro tainer here, which looks quite nice. It's picked out in silver, looks very metallic. And obviously uh, the detail on here is exactly the same, uh, except on the data panel there, it has a different number. So what do I think overall? Well, I think for the price, which is $38.95, I don't think they're too bad. I think um, for Hornby, these are pretty well detailed models. And obviously with the containers as well, I think the containers could easily be worth, you know, nine, 10 quid each really. Um, so to be honest, it's quite a good deal to get the wagon uh, and three containers uh, for that price. Uh, and they do look really, really good. And it is probably something I would look into getting myself. Uh, however, I think I'm, I'm all sorted for container wagons at the moment, but I would highly, highly recommend these. Um, but, but act fast because they are selling very, very rapidly. Uh, in the link below uh, in the description, uh, I'll leave the link uh, to both of these products. However, only one of them is still in stock, so act very, very quickly because uh, they are selling very, very well. So I hope you've enjoyed this review. Uh, if you want to see more wagon reviews, then do let me know and I'll uh, try and do some more. Uh, as well as that, uh, if you have any questions, obviously leave them in the description below and I'll do my best to answer them. And uh, yeah, hope everyone had a great Christmas and a great new year and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye for now.